Come on now, you gonna sing to No. <laughs> <laughs> I loved last year's Women's Day. I felt for the first time, although I'm older and I always felt like I was too young to really participate and be a part of it. Last year, I felt a part of a group of women that love and serve God. It felt genuine to me. And most of all, I love the background in the fellowship hall of her, just expressing the beauty of a woman who loves God. It just made me connect as a woman who loves God and serves God with all these beautiful people at this church. It really was special for me. Well, when thinking about me being creative for such a time as this, we all know 2020 has been one of, for me, I can say the most difficult year in my life. It's been devastation after devastation, whether it's death, illness, it's just been hard seeing what's going on in society. It's been very difficult, people losing their jobs. It's just heartbreaking to be honest. But me being the field that I'm in, I feel that once I moved to Maryland, I was actually directed directly by God to be in the field that I am because while a lot of people lost their jobs, I still had mine. And my job is to provide love, support, and advocate for special needs children. So I was able to work and maintain work and have income coming in the entire time. And in learning how to advocate for special needs, I just learned how to advocate in general for people who just can't speak for themselves. So me being set for a time like this, I feel that like God was preparing me through the field that I'm in. I think it's very important to be ministered to, minister to as a woman because we as women, and I speak mainly about myself, but I believe majority of women, we're natural nurturers. We pour into people constantly. We pour into our families, into our jobs, into our friends, and being ministered helps us to be refilled and not just refilled, refilled with Jesus. And you can't really be filled better than that. So I think being ministered to is not only necessary, it's important and it's just vital to just life in itself. If I'm gonna give my personal testimony, I will have to say again with this year being hard and all that has happened to so many people this year has been continual blessings for me. I was able to finally graduate with my master's degree in March. Thank you, Jesus. After that, I got a job that I did not apply for. I did not fill out an application, nor did I um, send any references. My supervisor was my supervisor at my school three years ago, and she knows my work. So she automatically vouched for me. And on top of that, I then became a registered behavior therapist. So I'm registered in the state of Maryland to give therapy to children with special needs in home. So <laughs> I will never deny that this has been a tough year, but for me, my God is big. He is strong, he is mighty, he has showed out, and I will shout it to the mountaintops that with God, all things are possible. <laughs> Oh, man, you gonna sing to? No. <laughs> <laughs>